Greetings tourists and welcome to another video. So uh, we're going to talk about Rescue Ace in this particular one. Uh, as you guys already know, uh, Rescue Ace is uh, an archetype that I tried to pilot for this format. Uh, I tried to make the deck work, I tried to make it like fit for me and I gave myself the challenge of like can I play this deck throughout the entire format um, without any changes? Or can I adapt the deck and just play it consistently and play it at locals and like just do well with it? I kind of scrapped the project and I moved on to Vanquish Soul. Uh, but that does not mean that the deck is not viable. That doesn't mean that the deck is not strong. And it doesn't mean that I haven't experimented with it or found any more innovative ways to play like the deck. Uh, my decision with not playing rescue ways pretty much comes down to like my play style and like how i've been playing in this current format and how my duels have went like with the deck and my issue with the deck's engine requirements pretty much uh i just have been not as lucky as i should with the strategy uh, is something that just varies from player to player uh, some people are just going to be way more comfortable than I am playing this deck um, but it doesn't mean that I don't necessarily practice with the deck it doesn't mean that I don't find ways to like innovate or like do the strategy like very efficiently um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk about like the starters of the deck, one of the issues and the flaws that the deck has, and stuff that uh, have been becoming trends, uh, both, uh, I mean, in the OCG that mitigates uh, this issue with the deck, and stuff that we can do in the TCG that is equivalent to it. Um, so if you've played Rescue Ace for a good amount of time, you already know that the main cards that you kind of want to see in your opening hands are Hydrant, Airlifter, and or Emergency. Like, the, the, the priority are pretty much Emergency and Airlifter. Like, you kind of want to open with any of these two like at the start of your of your game because they get you to your engine cards they get you to move the what your deck's win condition um and pretty much with it you resolve like what we call like the standard combo where you end on like uh, a a link monster or multiple link monsters plus turbulence and just setting four from your spell and trap uh, to your spell and trap zone um so one big issue that Rescue Ace had at the moment was that your only real starters like that you kind of want to see most optimally are Airlifter and or Emergency with another card. You can still play with Hydrant, however Hydrant does not get you to your main win condition of the deck, it's just like uh, the second best thing to open with that you can do for some extensions and some card plays. Um, so in the OCG what's been happening right now is that uh, w and on the release of Age of Overlord we've gotten like a few cards called the Sinful Spoils uh, we already have one here in the TCG but it's not really used as an engine card it's just used for disruption um, but now this small engine has been incorporated into many decks and strategies and rescue ace is a main outlier for one of these strategies um the main reason is uh, you have like a one card engine that pretty much summons hydrant from the deck and it is a special summon um and not only that, uh, that means that your hydrant can get you to airlifter which can get you to your emergency or vice versa um like so so that's something really strong it's something that pretty much helps this strategy like all together um but we're not in age of overlord uh these cards have not come out yet uh before we go to the next engine I'm going to talk about the benefits and not benefits of this engine one well, of the benefits are that um, there are no real bricks in this deck 
like the only real issue is if you draw redundant copies of these cards but that's not a huge issue as well because uh, for example the dark wish can summon herself by sending a card and the, and the snake eye spell can activate by sending a face up card um, so uh, I, I guess you can say this one is a real brick because you do need a face up card for this card to function. However, um, in a point in the game where you have like other extenders, like for example, like other starters or just another rescue ice monster, for example, something that isn't hydrant or like something that you can summon or something you can put face up on the board, then you can use the sinful spoil send the card and then just summon the hydrant and the hydrant can get you to like for example turbulence or get you to like preventer and just keep playing that way um so this is the biggest brick of the deck um but it's not really like the biggest issue the two main ones are these two cards and you're gonna play multiple copies of them um also this engine has a lot of recursion which is something really really important in this format like uh, the, the sinful spoil snake eye can grab you uh, a level one fire monster uh, by banishing this um, so you can just add the hydrant this way or add other uh, other level one monsters um, the hunter fiend can put back the snake eye and then makes it so you can draw a card so that means your engine is recursive that means that you can get to your cards like in the game you just recycle your resources and you just can keep playing with them um so now that we talked about the diabel star and the sinful spoils uh we don't have this in the tcg at least until age of overlord so what can we do with the current cards that we have right now? Like, um, as I already showed in a previous deck profile, I showed that Punk is like one side engine that you can play that raises the ceiling of the deck. However, the problem with the Punk engine is it doesn't get you to your starting place. It doesn't get you to like your airlifter or your emergency. Um, Another engine that you probably saw me playing uh, before was the Noble Arms. Um, and the, the cool thing about the Noble Arms is that uh, they get you to their airlifter. However, the biggest issue is they already require a face-up card on board. So it's the same issue you have with the Sinful Small Snake Eye. Which means that you pretty much have to commit to the board in order to activate those cards. And it's not really effective if whatever you're adding, you're not summoning it that turn. That's where uh, the next engine comes in. Uh, when Soul Burning Volcano came out, um, we received uh, this card. Which is the Battle in the Box with King Dempsey. And this... Th this card does way more to this format than people give it uh, like that people can like think about like i already showcased how viable this is for the vanquish soul deck um and how now parallel city is a pl playable card and it makes it so you can get to your engine um but there's another engine that i was testing out i was testing it out both in vanquish soul and in this deck and that engine is the super heavy samurais so what are the benefits of this engine as compared to like the other ones that we've spoken like the sinful spoils and the punk one so this is a one card engine that can get you to kim dempsey without your normal summon and that is a very very big deal because it makes it so the king dempsey can grab you airlifter and then airlifter do your entire combo uh, there are some caveats to this uh, engine. The big one caveat is you do have you do have a couple bricks, like the Gaia Booster and the Big Monk don't do anything by themselves. You always can want to open either motorbike or the Wakauchi. Um, another thing about this engine um, that you need to take note of is that you do hard lose to Droll and Logbird if you open like the motorbike specifically uh if you open wakaoshi this plays through the roll 
However, if you get to your Soul Guy booster, you won't be able to activate King Dempsey to like uh, to add to your hand. You can still do the Dempsey's effect, but just to send to the graveyard. Um, another benefit out of this engine is pretty that's pretty cool is that you are allowed to also summon Gear Gaiden X, and Gear Gaiden X can access you to uh, the Hydrant. Um, granted, you are using your normal summon on something that's not airlifter. However, um, sometimes grabbing Hydrant it can be important if you just already opened Emergency and just open like other ways to like do keep doing your plays. Um, so that's like one other benefit of this engine. Another really cool thing about the Super Heavy Samurai engine is it gives you access to Axel Synchro Stardust and it also gets you access to Baron the Floor. Um, it, it, it gets you to Baron the Floor um, which is pretty pretty cool because not only can you are, are able to do that but you are also allowed to give yourself full Pendulum skills which means if you already opened Airlifter uh, and you already open like stuff like Hydrant, you can still go uh, into an interruption that can bait your opponent's hand trap or make it so you can play through disruption and still like resolve your combo. Um, but yeah, uh, I just kind of want to talk about this engine. Uh, I might as well speak about this in Vanquish Soul since I already brought up uh, Vanquish Soul as a potential option for this engine. Um, the Wakauchi is a dark monster and the super heavy samurais are like uh, earth monsters. Um, so uh, these are two different attributes that also share the effects for the reveal effects for the Vanquish Soul monsters. Um, so it also benefits you on that regard. And when it comes to Vanquish Soul, and it also comes down to Rescue Ace, which is something I also have to mention when it comes to this engine. Uh, you cannot activate this engine if you already have Spell and Traps in your grave. However, uh, in the Rescue deck, your only real important Spell and Traps are like your Rescue Spell and Traps. And you do have a card in the deck that can uh, pretty much make it so you can recur them back into your uh, into your deck meaning that you're emptying out your graveyard out of your spell and traps meaning that you can activate them uh, activate your super heavy samurai monsters and then just do your rest to place again um, in the vanquish soul deck specifically um, that is a little more, more of an issue because you do want to play other spell and traps however the more important spell and traps in that deck are stake your soul and or like stuff like um, small world or like some other utility cards and then there's like continue and dust devil which are searchable with Dr. Madlove which is searchable by Rosin which is searchable by Dempsey um, so um, pretty much when it comes to like uh, this engine uh, you kind of have to be smart on deck building but uh, I think this is like the best engine for Rescue Ace until the Diabell Star stuff comes out. The Diabell Star stuff is a little bit less impactful than the Heavy Samurai stuff, but it has less bricks and it requires less uh, proper deck building, uh, like to be cohesive, uh, co cohesive with whatever engine you're playing. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk about this because um, I feel like moving forward, uh, Rescue Ace could be a top contending deck. Uh, if we get our a TCG Forbidden Limited list uh, very soon, uh, this deck might rise higher in contention uh, because it is a deck that can play with a lot of non-engine. It's a deck that can play with its resources very carefully. Um, and when it comes to like the current format in the TCG, uh, like having a deck that can have a backup plan, can play the grind game, can also have recurring resources, and like can play non-engine are really, really important in this format. Uh, and I feel like Rescue Ace is just a hair away of achieving all of that. Um, 
but yeah uh, that's it from me I hope you you found this very very informative um, keep practicing and keep doing <laughs>